You know, I love every year is when Manson shows up for this parole hearing with a swastika gouged in his forehead. You know, what better way to signal the board that you've pulled your personal thing together <laughs> and are ready to hit the streets again, huh? <laughs> Big story out of California this week, an annual story I happen to love, the medfly sighting in Los Angeles where they find five fertile medflies in L.A. How do you find five insects in a city the size of Los Angeles? They got 10,000 illegal aliens going through that town every day. Nobody can get a beat on them. They nailed these five fucking flies, all right? And I want to meet the guy who determines whether they're fertile or not, huh? Talk about your bad part-time jobs. <laughs> Federal deficit is now above a trillion dollars. Some say two trillion, and it goes up all the time. You know what that means? Somewhere out there, there's somebody who still insists on lending us money. I don't know about you. Somebody runs up a tab like that on me. I get a call from him, hit me up for more. I think I'm going to go, hey, my man. You <laughs> got that fucking trillion you owe me. <laughs> That's 18 zeros, babe. You know, I, uh, I gotta see something to deuce, anything, you know. First 50 billion, I'll go to the wall with a pal. You know, what pisses me off in the news is these mass murderers and the way society coddles these people. Guy kills somebody, what's the first thing we do? We put him in a hospital for observation. Oh, you better keep an eye on him. He might do something crazy, huh? What are we looking for? Red wine with fish? Uh, white slacks after November 1st? You know, I mean... The murder itself tipped me off, huh? That was my first big clue Colonel Mustard was having a bad day. And the Pope doesn't help matters. Any of the Pope goes to the prison with a young man as you try to kill him and he forgave him, forgave him. I don't know about you, I was just praying that the Pope would lean over and go, hey, you little punk bastard. If you ever pull a gun on me again, off of the funny bathrobe, I put my papal foot up your Hindu ass, all right? All the cardinals are holding the Pope back, you know. Like, Get out of here, kid. He's crazy when he's like this. Your history, Haji. <laughs> the fuck off me. Rich Lou, waste that prick. What's that? Oh, I'm the Pope. I don't hit back. Yeah, fuck you, pal, okay? <laughs> You're lucky my chick's here. <laughs> I like the Pope. I like the way he dresses, sort of that Neo Duran Duran approach to fashion. The Pope has two hats. He has that little cereal bowl number. Then he has the taller fence post hole digger model where you turn him upside down and start working those little Pope legs together, you know. You know, when I was younger, I would have been afraid to tell that joke because of possible repercussions from the deity. I'm Catholic, I would have had to go to confession. The thing that always struck me as unique about the Catholic ritual of confession is no matter how bizarre your sins were, the priest had a penance right there at his fingertips. <laughs> you could go and bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I was at the petting zoo today. I went down on a baby rhino. <laughs> He's got a penance for you like he's sitting back there with some bizarre penance conversion chart or something. Like, okay, blew a rhino. Our fathers... Thank you very much. It's been nice. Good night, folks. Bye-bye.